I think we shouldn't be asking ourselves how to create middle class jobs. Instead, we should be asking why wages haven't been going up. So there are a lot of jobs out today. If you want to start working for Uber or many other on-demand services, you can start today. The challenge for the U.S. economy is not creating new jobs. It's taking existing jobs and making sure that they pay a wage which is high enough to allow you to live a middle-class lifestyle. Middle-income jobs are about, are you doing well? Are you doing better than your parents? And up until the 1980s, you were doing better than your parents. Your wages were higher, even if you had similar type jobs, you had a similar education. And that kind of stopped. People in their 40s who once upon a time had an administrative job that paid enough to live a middle class lifestyle. Today, that same job doesn't pay enough to be in the middle class. Had wages grown over the past 30 years at historical rates, the person who has an administrative job would be living a middle class lifestyle. To understand what's happened to wages, it's worth considering how much workers are producing over time and what they're being paid for their labor. So there are two types of productivity we can think about. The first type is labor productivity. How much does a given worker produce? And this has been continuing to go up over time. So each and every year, a worker produces more and more goods and services. The second type of growth that we might think about in the economy is wage growth. It's how much do workers get to take home for in exchange for their labor? And so over the past 30 years, workers have continued to produce more and more, but their wages have remained flat. So we can think about 2014, a typical worker produced $100,000 of goods and services. Some of that goes to cover the cost of labor. Some of that covers the cost of investment in maintaining existing capital. But there's a large chunk today that's left over that the firm keeps as profits. And it's increased by about $14,000 per employee per year. My research suggests that the past 30 years have been marked by a decline in competition. And this is the reason why firms are able to keep more and more in the form of profits. In my research, I find that if we can increase competition to previous levels, levels that existed in the 1980s, wages would increase by about 20%. So for a family taking home $50,000 a year, this means they'd have an extra $10,000 of income. So we don't know what to do about declining competition. In fact, this has only been the focus of very recent research. I think we need a better understanding of why competition has declined and how, what types of tools we have to stimulate it. And only then are we going to be in a position to recommend policy.